Generational ARCs is an excellent tool that combines the statistical power of demographic data with the qualitative analysis that comes with understanding generational beliefs and attitudes. So if you create an XY axis here, at the bottom, you're going to look at age of someone. I'm going to, for simple um, simplicity, I'm going to go from 0 to 100. So essentially when you're born as a baby to when you get older and die. On the y-axis here, I'm going to look at population. And you can identify the total number of people for a country, for a region, for a company, an organization, a community. How you see it is going to be, is going to be dependent on what your group considers important to your opportunity, to your question, and to your industry. In this case, I'm going to use the data for the US because I'm familiar with it and it's a quick example. And so you can draw from data sources such as the US Census Bureau, Eurostat if you're in the EU, every country tracks this kind of information and you might realize, okay, now here's how the profile, the population you know, line could look for the US. And then within that, there are three dominant generations at any given point. And particularly for the U.S., if we were to look at the years of, let's see, 1946 to 64, this is the group known as the Baby Boomers, right? And they were unified as a generation based on going through, you know, the Cold War, with the Civil Rights Movement, all of which shaped their beliefs about what they considered important and brought them together as a group of people. Not to say, of course, there's not individual differences, but collectively, understanding a generation is powerful because guess what? This group will continue to move forward and they're gonna bring these dominant beliefs, attitudes, values with them as they move forward. So if you were a company looking to sell into this point and they're you know, roughly in their you know, 60 to 80s, then you can take that forward to say, and here's how we're gonna grow with that or how we're gonna resonate and connect with this group of people. And within that, you might realize they have a very strong worth ethic, um, often a sense of materialism is associated with boomers. And realize the words you pick will reflect whether you're a member of that generation or if you're someone from outside that generation describing what you, you considered a, a trait or an, uh, an attribute. Now this next group is 1965, typically to 85. And generally you'll use about 20 years to define a generation. And this is of course, Generation X. This is a group that was brought together and you know, responded and grew up during the Watergate time uh, when there was you know, real energy crisis occurring and 70 over, spilling over into the 80s. This group is known for being highly entrepreneurial and in fact, very practical to the point when some people called these the latchkey kids because they're always independent and highly cynical because of how they had to handle being on their own and didn't have the same type of loyalty with companies that the prior generation did. Now following on their heels, of course, is another generation whom we know as the millennials. And I'm gonna write it over here. The millennials are 1986 to roughly 2006. And this is a group that you know, really saw a rise of terrorism with the event of 9-11, grew up with an explosion of digital technology and particularly social media. And so many see this generation as being very idealistic and civic minded. And in addition, this is a group that really values peer feedback, has a strong respect for authority, but also a sense of entitlement. Not to say that any of these attributes are good or bad, it's to understand the differences and then looking at the interplay between and across generations. Because again, what you do with this information, and you can do this even to track product generations or customer cases, I've seen it used in many different ways beyond just people as population, is to then realize, oh, if you have this many millennials, and they're much larger than the generation before of Gen X, to say, and you know, if they're in their peak years of you know, early to mid 30s, well guess what? We can grow with them as they marry more, raise children, start um, families and uh, look to build their household and move it up in their career in terms of promotion. All of this is helpful data because it 
helps you understand and anticipate the user needs from that macro perspective.